Hey, what's up everyone? This is Gamers of the Reason, and not too long ago I did a video of an unboxing for my Toshiba 3TB external hard drive, which is USB 3.0. And I noticed a lot of you guys don't know what USB 3.0 is, or do I have a good idea of how different it is from USB 2.0, which you see on your day-to-day -day devices, just your mouse, your keyboard, your phone, flash drive, just about anything. And I'm going to start off by saying that they are shaped the same and structured the same, but... Um, you can actually tell the difference between the two. The main difference is that the USB 3.0 is blue. So it's blue instead of black, which is what you see on most devices, especially all of our phones, or smartphones that is. And the ports that you plug these into are blue as well. So it'll match. So if you bought a very recent laptop or something, then you'll, if it's blue, then you know it's USB 3.0. And I'm going to start by saying that even though they look the same and the blue may be the slightest difference, but performance wise the increase is significant. USB 3.0 is up to 10 times faster than USB 2.0. So it's very, very useful and that's why I got USB 3.0 external hard drive because USB 3.0 is so fast that usually such as things as hard drives, you only see within 10% of a difference between a USB 3.0 hard drive and a regular hard drive that you plugged have plugged into your motherboard so it's definitely very useful and it's very nearly identical performance that you normally see but the benefit is the fact that it's external and it's portable so it's definitely useful for those of you that are using laptops because laptops they usually only have one drive slot so if you want a bigger hard drive you have to replace the old one and you have to reinstall windows you have to download drivers you have to download the software you have to download updates programs, games, I mean just all that stuff and then you have to install it after downloading. I mean it's just a huge bottleneck and just really annoying and overwhelming and if you had an external USB hard drive or something that would definitely solve that problem be very useful and another thing is that the main selling point for USB 3.0 so far is external hard drives but they're also going to be making other devices USB 3.0. Now what I'm talking about is things such as external sound cards, drives such as a Blu-ray drive or a DVD drive because those things sometimes are a bit slow and you know you may notice it might be a little bit too slow for you. And what I'm really looking forward to is the U external sound cards just because of the simple fact that you know if you want to hear good audio or something or if your friend has bigger speakers or better sound speakers but you have a good sound card and he does it. It's just like total opposites. You go to your friend's house and, you know, just plug it into his computer, whether, you know, it's an older computer or not, you know, just plug it in there and it'll simply work, you know, and it's really great for those of you that are doing audio editing, music editing, or just like listening to things in good audio quality overall, and you just like to, you know, and maybe you have multiple computers around the house, or if you're, one of your computers is in the shop and you have to you know lay back on another computer but it's kind of lower in doesn't have a good sound card or anything you know you just plug that sucker in and it'll just work perfectly well so I can't and there's also USB uh, 3.0 flash drives right now now they're a little bit expensive actually right now but as far as price goes the best thing I've seen is a 64 gigabyte for well 65 bucks because they're usually 80 bucks or even more sometimes, but 65 bucks was definitely the best price point I found. But eventually they will get cheaper and people will start buying them because those things are just ridiculously fast, you know. And one thing I'm going to have to say is that uh, USB 3.0, even though it sounds so great and everything, it's not quite necessary for all devices. Now what I mean by that is that simple device that you use such as your phone cord, USB cord, or your controller, your gamepad, your keyboard, your mouse. You know, most of those devices, USB 3.0 isn't really necessary just because those devices are so fast already that it takes just seconds for it to install the drivers on your computer and just get working, really. And the delay between, you know, on a controller is very minuscule, really. So for mo most things like that, USB 3.0 isn't really necessary. Now, one thing that might be going to USB 3.0 pretty soon is Wi-Fi adapters. Now, the reason I say that is because networking technology has evolved again and now there are some routers out there very few but there are some that have the standards of wired speeds so that's going to be definitely great you know it's going to be awesome to start seeing the standards of wired speeds but wireless so that's going to be really great to see but 
The only thing is that if they try to make USB Wi-Fi adapters to be able to connect to them, you know, USB 2.0 will probably they'll probably run into some bottleneck issues or extreme limitations really, because it can only perform you know so much, you know, and it's been around for nearly a decade really. So you, they're definitely probably going to be investing in USB 3.0 for that. And I guess you could say over time, things are going to start becoming USB 3.0 as things evolve and get more power demanding, you know what I mean? That's definitely going to be something that's going to be a great um, option and imp improvement over time because it will become the standards eventually. But for now, USB 2.0, not necessary for everything, really. Just mainly things that you would normally plug into your other board, you know, like a sound card, disk drive, and drive, really. You know, just those kind of things because those things, you know, I guess you could say their standards are so much higher than something that's external usually. But with USB 3.0, I guess you could say the main thing is that you get nearly identical performance, but it's external, you know? So you can bring it around, move it anywhere else, or just the fact that some of them, well, some devices like external hard drives have wall outlets. So you could plug the AC adapter into the wall and it won't use power from your computer. Because maybe you have a heavy end computer like I do, but you have so many hard drives that, you know, you might have to upgrade your power supply or something, or your power supply is getting, you know, starting to get bottlenecked or something, then just go USB 3.0 and it'll use power from the wall. So I hope this guy uh, give you a great description of what USB 3.0 is and what's the difference between well, that USB 2.0 and what's so useful for, about it and what's not so useful right now. So thanks again for watching this video, and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll be bringing you some more, I guess you could say, explanations and details and summaries over things like this pretty soon. And this is Gamers of the Reason, and I will see you guys in the next video.